Everyone has a story. From the bright lights of bustling cities to the quiet suburbs, even in the smallest towns, everyone has a story. At times, our stories seem to spill over with joy. New life, graduations, the beauty of a harvest day. Other times, our story seems to be gripped by loss, tragedy, and difficulty. It's often then that we wonder, what will happen when my story ends? Everywhere you look, stories unfold. Each face reflects a chapter of a life's journey. In Monticello, these narratives converge forming a rich mosaic of human experience. Among these stories is that of our first permanent settler, James Pyatt. As he gazed upon unclaimed land, his vision stretched beyond the horizon. In the crucible of war, his courage and determination were tested on fields where history was written in blood and sacrifice. At quieter moments, Tending to his store, he extended hospitality and warmth to the community that he helped shape. This quest for understanding the story of life brings us to the gospel. The timeless story of Jesus Christ, it tells us of life not aimed at fleeting pleasures and temporary achievements, but one of eternal significance. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. This truth confronts us all we are sinners, part of the human condition that transcends time and place. As we grapple with these truths, pondering our place in the grand story of life, we need to realize something. Our story doesn't end there. For the wages of sin is death, a stark reminder of the price to be paid for our wrongdoings. This isn't just a physical death, but an eternal separation from God in a place the Bible describes as hell, a reality too grim to overlook. In the face of such dire consequences, we stand at a crossroad. We can either bear the weight of our sins and the ultimate cost, or turn to the one who paid the price on our behalf, Jesus Christ. Through His sacrifice on the cross, He offers us a path to redemption and eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yet this gift, as profound as it is, requires a response. Christ's payment for our sins offers us no benefit if we do not accept it. It is an invitation to every one of us, an offer of salvation that needs to be received. We must sincerely, by faith, ask Him to forgive us our sins. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It is a promise grounded in the authority of Scripture that assures us of His forgiveness and hope of eternal life with Him. In Monticello, as in every heart and home, the gospel resonates with a call to reflection and decision. What decision will you make about your story? How will you respond to the gospel's call to salvation? As we reflect on our own chapters within the rich tapestry of Monticello's history, let's consider how our stories can be part of the greater story written by God's hand, promising us an eternal future beyond the final page of our earth.